feeling pretty good with how the day in Slick Canyon went. I drove to Furnace Creek to fill waters, pay the entrance fee, and get the latest information on road conditions up to Marble Canyon Trailhead. It seemed perfectly manageable, at least to the point where low clearance cars are recommended to stop. Now, I would not recommend taking your Toyota Camry up there, but I was okay with how the rented crossover handled hole in the wall road earlier that day, and confident navigating the soft sand where the road passes through the edge of the mesquite sand dunes and the washboard road up the alluvial fan. I took it a little slower after dropping into the wash, just to prevent popping a tire or losing a muffler. After a short while, the boulder started to look a little too large in the headlights. I decided to stop for the night and found a nice campsite right off the side of the road. After making some dinner and loading some 8x10 holders, I found a nice rock to sit on. While looking up at the stars eating a dessert of a rolled up tortilla with raisins and peanut butter, I started thinking about how little some things have changed in the 20 years since I first picked up a camera. The next morning, having had some breakfast and some good coffee from a local roaster, I was ready for day two of the trip and exploring some of the places I was more excited to photograph. I made what ended up being a good decision of driving further up Cottonwood Canyon Road to get a little closer to the trailhead, where it passes through a nice short stretch of narrows. All right, so this canyon wall here is incredible. So I think I decided to get the 8x10 out. Um, we're real close to the car, so it's not like I need to hike with it. So I don't need to rearrange the bag or anything. So I'll get the 8x10 out, make a quick picture before the sun creeps over anymore. Um, and yeah, then I'll maybe pack the car up some more and, and drive up some more, but a good place to stop for the apartment. I'm going to climb up this little embankment behind me here and get a little bit higher vantage point and keep the road out of the out of the picture. But we're going to be looking at the shape of these canyon walls. Um, this kind of smooth shape there and the way that, that goes up like that. So take a look. Uh, probably make a picture. Hope so. So I made one picture with the 8x10 of this cliff up in front of me here. And not exactly what I thought, my lens was a little too short. I'm using the, the Nikkor W240 millimeter. So it included just a little bit too much of the road. Um, so I'm gonna switch over to my 14 inch lens and see if I can get a little more detail of like the, the shape of that mountain. So what I actually ended up doing is pointing my camera kind of upward and getting this and like these kind of small subtle things here. So it's a pretty subtle picture. Um, not exactly what I was looking for, but it's something I found. So now I'll switch lenses and see about doing that thing I originally saw back over my shoulder there. Um, then I'll load up and continue up to Marble King.
It was good to get the old master view out and stretch those large format muscles. And while I did expose two sheets of film, I really wasn't thrilled with the pictures. Still, it was a good visual exercise to start the day, and looking back, the experience somewhat informed how I'd approach seeing pictures I would make later in the afternoon. 